people should subscribe to our channel. Weird. Yeah, me or nobody, period. Period. I got too many hoes. I can't hang you. Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. Today is a Saturday and I thought I'd start the vlog here because I'm actually like doing some business stuff today and just like shooting all that stuff and obviously I don't know if you can tell me y'all know but I've got a hair company like have y'all seen my hair? Listen this hair company is for the girls. This hair company is for the universe because this hair is such good quality. I just had to put my girls on because really and truly, you have to pay a thousand pounds for a week. You have to pay five hundred pounds for a week. But my wigs be 200 300 pounds, and you can get a vest down like this, and it's a closure. It's a closure. But yeah, anyway, all morning, all this morning, I'm just getting ready to shoot for our race, which I've just finished now. I need to edit it and stuff, but I think I'll do it like tomorrow or later on. But really, really excited to work with them because they're genuinely a brand that I love. This is like my third third or fourth time work with them i think this year so absolutely amazing um really gassed about that her products are so good like, this is literally glueless like i didn't use any latex glue nothing just a spray and a melt band and my hair is actually on it's so cute it's not moving it's not going anywhere but yeah i've also got to shoot for hoodwitch woman today they just want like, a couple pics in their fits so i'm gonna do that i'm probably gonna shoot at home because the vibe of the like briefs that they gave me it's kind of like my house like in terms of like just mirror pictures sofa pictures all that stuff is my house even clean <laughs> anyway sofa pictures all that good stuff um so i'm probably just gonna get a couple of those and maybe if i got today get that too and yeah i just thought i'd bring you guys along and kind of show you what i do business wise how i pack orders how i shoot this is why I don't be like a winter. My content creators are really suffering out there because really and truly, we have like four or five hours a day to shoot with good quality because you don't want to shoot just before sundown because then the lighting isn't as good and you don't want to shoot too early because it's black. Like, nah, it's actually the ghetto. This is what I, I thrive in the summer when it comes to shooting content. So this is what I'm going to shoot. All right, so I just finished filming. I made this TikTok that I saw, but like for hair, because I saw a girl do it about makeup, so I thought it'd be funny. And then I made this one. And that's literally that. That is literally that. I didn't get to tell you guys. I got invited to a world premiere. For the Hunger Games, I absolutely love the Hunger Games. Like 2015, y'all. So it's so funny how full circle moments just happened. Um, eight years later, literally, because the movie, the last movie I watched was 2015, but I literally need to catch up and like rewatch them all because I need to be ready for this new Hunger Games. So excited, and I've also got like something else on Wednesday up for the Hunger Games. So I'm really excited about that. Like shout out to the people that support me, y'all. Like. This is crazy, but yeah, I'm really excited about that. So, of course, I'll bring you guys along. What do you mean? What do you mean? That is my favorite saying. Like, what do you mean? Like, why not? Because, oh, why not? I need to get that on the t shirt. So, this is the hood which I'm wearing. Got some little socks as well. So cute to match. Um, I actually got sent two outfits, so I'll try and do two, but I think we'd agreed on one. Um, but yeah, this is it. Oh my gosh, is it not focusing? Focus on me, mommy. Focus. Can't lie, this bust down here, guys. Bust down season. So cute, so cute. I really like it. Yeah, I'm gonna set some pictures here, I think, and then maybe on the sofa. So I finished shooting for Hoodwitch, and it's actually come out a bit better than I thought it would. Cause I thought, okay, what's their vibe? What's the image? And I thought, let me try and get that. Like the sun's just come through. It's like God said, baby girl, don't worry, you're gonna get your pick. I said, thank you, God, because it was getting so dark the way the sun has come through it looks so freaking aesthetic yeah let me show you guys the pictures that i've taken so far being a content creator is not easy but it is it is fun that like when your pictures come out the way you want them to is actually quite cute but yeah let me show you some they look so good sorry get me some more tools like <laughs> we've got this one i think it's so cute like the spot the angle is actually nice i need to take pictures more often because this is giving so cute why have i not taken pictures of it before 
Like the way the sun came through. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna send these everyone. Hopefully, they like them. But I think they're cute. I think they're good. All my aspiring content creators out there, go. You can do it. You can work with your house. You can work with whatever space you have. It's just about angles and just making it look the way you want it to look. So I need to pack on all the water. Should I pack the water now before I send the pictures? I think I should. Because who's working on the Saturday anyway? Let me pack the water right now because I can't let my girls down. I won't let my girls down anyway. I will do anything I can to get everyone their hair because I actually know the horror and the stories of hair. Hairdressers is just long. So this is actually good for me to film a pack hair orders with me kind of thing. I like doing that. It works really well on TikTok and like Instagram because I guess people just feel like if you're a new brand or new hair brand, it's like, how can I trust that I can shop with you? Because there's a lot of dodgy people. So like when they see like people actually ordering hair and you're packing these orders, like of course she actually sends them out. Because some people will be chasing them for three weeks for your hair or four weeks for your hair. Why? Here's all the bits I need for hair orders. I have these thank you cards that I write on, stickers, and then obviously some hair bundles that someone has ordered, and this wig. Then um, I had these key rings because you lot know. Well, if you know, you know I love sneakers. And if you don't know, well, I love sneakers. Like, I'm a sneaker girly. So I finished filming and I just realized that my own lace is lifted. <laughs> I said, let me just slap edge band on quick. But I feel like it looks so cute. This little head edge band, headband look with like a bust down actually bangs. Can't believe it's raining and it's so dark at 4 p.m. It's 4 p.m. Why is it so dark? Let me go to the post office now. I'm actually obsessed with my outfit today. It's so cute. I just thought about it on the top of my head. Today, me and Miles are going out for his friends, his best man's birthday dinner. And surprise, he's also getting engaged today, which is so exciting. Hey. Truck to the plane, to the truck. Truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages. Presidential Hi, seat sir. on the closet. Elevator <laughs> up to the room. Shower up and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area cold in my family. <laughs> such a long time everything worked out perfectly it looked so good even i was like oh my gosh like you did this like ah! congratulations to them both i absolutely love both of them but yeah obviously yesterday's dinner was actually for his birthday and the proposal wasn't gonna happen yesterday but obviously like after the dinner they were gonna go back to like somewhere and that's where the proposal will happen so obviously when me and miles were driving home we were like oh my gosh has it happened yet has it happened yet like checking our phones and whatnot and then we didn't hear anything and then literally like i swear like five minutes after we went to bed it happened so when i looked at my phone i was like wait this is literally like 11 40 something and i'm sure we come home like 11 probably 12 took off makeup all sorts of stuff but then that happened but yeah but i'm so happy um i am going to get a sample and chips because i'm so hungry me and miles have just been at home working today currently i'm trying to edit a wig reinstall on tiktok and it keeps freezing if you had the same problem let me know because Every time, like, there's only random TikToks today. Like, sometimes it will, like, freeze when I try and save it without watermark or 
try and freeze when I'm trying to like, do a voiceover. Like, even right now, <laughs> it just won't load. I'm trying to do a voiceover so I can post a video. And it's been, like, a good half an hour, which is really annoying. Because you know when you just want to bang up content, like, TikTok, did it, Instagram. And now it's not working, so it's really jarring. But, yeah. I also edited another YouTube video today, which I'm so happy about. Because I went live with my YouTube channel yesterday. And my aim... Guys, we finna bang out content, like... I'm just I've got so many vlogs, so boom, 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 I'm doing today. I'm also going to church today. Oh my gosh, guys, I gave my life to Christ again. I became born again on Sunday because I just feel like mm, church hurt, all that stuff. Like, I feel like I had a really bad experience. Maybe we become more independent rather than like, relying on my church or anything. And now, me and God are like, we got our own relationship, period. When that broke off, I just felt like... I don't know, my relationship got kind of went, mm, and I feel like God was no longer a priority for me, which is really sad because I'd really wanted my heart to make him a priority, but I just couldn't, just couldn't do it. But now that I'm born again, I'm feeling brand new, girl. Like, YouTube's out, per editing, per like, I feel like a weight's finally been lifted off my life that, anyway, this could not get past that stage of life. So my church is having like a um, midweek service or whatnot, and I don't even know they do this to be fair, but they told me on Sunday. So I'm going to go today. Um, I'm just really happy and I'm really excited to just be obsessed with God and like really get into things again. That I have been really scared to join a church again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be so real. I'm just trying to come on a Sunday and go. Guys, fellowship is important and I thought I could avoid it, but you can't. Like you need fellowship. The Bible says you even need, like you need fellowship. Even Jesus needed fellowship. Yeah, Todd said I chat. I'm kind of low-key. No, I'm not caring about Instagram anymore. I love Instagram because that's literally where I've grown. But... I kind of like don't want to be so like, oh, I must post it this time, post it that time. I just want to post and have a good time and go like, I want to enjoy the content I'm making. So I'm just going to edit the video and post it, I think, today, because that was my plan. And then I've also, because Black Friday's coming up soon, I've also got to like edit my business website a bit. I want to introduce that like, longer lengths, because right now I only got up to 30 inches. I want to like do 32, 34 um, for wigs. So I need to add that onto the website and also add like make a Black Friday website. If you guys want to know more about business stuff and you know what not let me know because i can i can do videos on that i'm just not sure how interesting well not that it's not interesting but i don't know how much you want yeah i want to see so if you want to know let me know then i make the video people obviously wait for black friday but i'm just like listen let's enjoy the whole month because my birthday month period so let's enjoy the whole month not sure when i'll see you next but i'll catch you in a bit in it sanctify them by your truth your word is true i also have said them in the world and for their sakes i sanctify myself that they may also be sanctified for the man this gets higher than last one. We pray for her that it will be men of your word, men of the spirit. I'm just finishing getting ready for the Hunger Games dinner tonight. They said that we should do like um I forgot what they're called, the people in the Hunger Games, the rich people that go for that kind of vibe and like go for kind of you know out there clothing. So I thought oh this top would be perfect because I don't really want to wear a dress. I want my hair being tangled. There we go. I don't really, I do really want to wear a dress, but I'm doing this all black thing and I actually quite like it. Actually, because it's all black, like I'm wearing this top from ASOS, it was so tight, it's not my size, I can't lie. I needed like a size 12, but I got a, um, a size 10, but I thought, I was wearing a brown underneath, I thought, no, that brown needs to come off because I'm looking squashed. And to be fair, I don't really need a bra of this top because it's so tight. Um, but yeah, no, I was thinking of leaving my lips just brow out because it kind of works. It kind of works. Yeah, I think I'll... Hmm, even my earrings. I haven't changed my earrings in time. Like, I keep wearing these same earrings every day. But do you know what? I can't be bothered to change it. I'm really excited for tonight. It's going to be... I can't lie. I feel like it's going to be so good. Number one, Hunger Games. I love that film. It's been eight years since the last one that I watched. Um, 2015, when I'm 2023. It's going to be a big thing. It's a big film. I feel like I need to refresh on the film, but it should be fine anyway. Like, I kind of get the basis of it, so whatever we're doing tonight should be good. So excited! Tomorrow is the premiere, world, the world premiere. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, life is up. Excuse me. Life is giving a madness right now. Like, not me being invited to a world premiere, I'm still deep in it. Now, this is probably one of the biggest events in my career so far. So, go to a world premiere. Like, I've gone, I went to the Black Adam one, and that was such an incredible experience. And even that one, I was a bit shocked. Like, oh, me, like, you want me to say that, okay? And that was so good with the rock and whatnot. And now, to go to the Hunger Games, which is like a huge film. Yeah, I'm really excited and just really grateful to have been chosen to go. Like, sometimes I just think, oh, what the hell? Life is 
insane and I'm just always grateful for the fact that I went into influence in my life just like work for my thing like work for my goals because these experiences are literally one in a lifetime literally one in a lifetime so I'm so excited I wonder if he's gonna like be there tonight as well yeah I'm gonna head off let's go to this dinner and see how bougie it is <laughs> I'm just here for the Hunger Games dinner. Yes, yeah, just yeah. things like that. Okay, no problem, thanks. Yeah, I mean, but it was something that stuck out to me after reading the book for the first time when it came out in 2020. It's, you know, what I love about storytelling and what we all get to do for a living is the ability to subvert expectations in entertainment. And that married age for a second. Yeah, like a surprising amount of people this week have said, Oh no, this is a gorgeous. Guys, how stunning is this setup? There's nobody there. Like one of one. One of one. Still one to me. Is this for us to keep? I'm assuming so. I'm going to wait tomorrow. You can check that dress up, that dress. You can't take that dress up. This is giving life bad. This was a diverse mix today. Yeah, yeah. Like I feel like there was Different big creators, like yeah, which was really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel 
was like, oh. Cheap girl? Yeah, she was there. Cheap girl was there? Yeah. I did not see her. She was there. Cheap girl was there? Yeah, she was. Shut up. Yeah. She's about to make a video on the tube right now. We're missing it. Maybe. Oh my she gosh. Right ah, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I need to follow you. Let me yeah. follow you now. Sorry, are you dizzy? You just a spot in it. Huh? You a spot. Yeah. Premiere ready. Ready for the Hunger Games premiere. We need to head off and go now though. Marge just finished track, so we can go. There's a little, there's a bit of something. My hair back looks like you. But you ready to go though? Ready. Ready? Where my Uggs. Where my Silpa. Oh, Where this is so cute. So messy. I know. We need to clean our house <laughs> after this. Yeah, my dog, he know what I like. He done found me plenty in my life. Problem is, I meet a girl tonight. Then I go and treat her too nice. Galleria credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife. But I do know one thing, though. Women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday. Monday through Sunday, yo. Knew we were back, and like everyone here tonight, we were really excited by the opportunity to visit this world that was so beloved and so missed by so many. What I can tell you is that it was worth the wait. All the credit goes to our incredible filmmaking team who have delivered and crafted something that is exquisite, it's emotional, it's thrilling, and it's surprising. And I can't wait for you to meet them. Hello, everybody. How are you guys feeling? Yeah. Love that, love that. So, good evening. <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous? So, I want to direct my first question to Francis. The experience with this movie, guys, in IMAX is insane. It's great. There's over an hour of the full IMAX aspect ratio. I think you guys are going to really love it. It's only fitting. Yes. And I've got a question that I'm going to throw out to whoever wants to answer it. I see Tom's got a microphone there, so it might be you, darling. Uh, <laughs> how does it feel to be part of one of the biggest franchises in cinema history? Daunting. <laughs> uh, no, at first it was daunting, and then I think Francis and you know kind of gave, gave us uh, kind of free reign to make it our own, um, and. Luckily, it, it's 64 years before, so there's a lot of the 64 years of free reign to be able to play with. Look away, just look away, just look away, it's nothing to see. Tell me when it's good, tell me when it's safe. <laughs> It's not safe. It's not safe. It's not safe. It's still not safe. <laughs> <laughs> slaving like a housewife rat can't lie our house was a tip it was a tip this week's been so busy for both of us so the house suffered and i said now nah, i've got to do spring clean today so I did the kitchen did all the hoovering clean the living room there's just so much nonsense everywhere pr boxes everywhere just randomness i said no nah, i can't live like this <laughs> um so yeah just clean the whole house cleaned our bedroom the bed is all cute and laid man can even chill on it now um the bathroom my wardrobe mum's office that still needs to be cleaned to be honest but i've only got strength for so much but it's two o'clock that's why sometimes i don't like cleaning i avoid it because like why is it taking up so much of my time can't lie, I took breaks here and there and to be fair I had a little bit of prayer time some Jesus time and now it's 2 p.m. so I'm very much having a chill Saturday I feel like I might go and like see my mum I also need to do things that I put off because yesterday I was so tired <laughs> I just wanted a chill day I'll be in any days you just want to be lazy it's not good and it's not God but I just wanted to chill and do nothing so I literally binge with my brother I ate and I actually did nothing yesterday. So today, 
I do have a lot to do like for my business because Black Friday is starting on Monday for my email subscribers. So give me what you're doing, girl. And the thing is, you know, I can't even put things off and it doesn't take that long. Like it doesn't even take long to set up an email and just do some pictures, babe. So calm down. But yeah, oh my gosh, guys. The premiere year. Girl, there is an elephant in the room. How are you not talking about it? How are you not talking about it? Guys, the Hunger Games premiere year is because yesterday I didn't do anything because I forgot. I haven't spoken to you guys since then. Guys, it was so good. The film, if you're a Hunger Games fan, or even if you, you don't even know about Hunger Games, this is the perfect film to start. I feel like this is the film that should have come first. But then it makes, but it means more now. Because I guess when the Hunger Games started, we didn't know what the Hunger Games was. So it had to start on a bang, in it? But now that it started on a bang, we can like go back and really dive deep into what happened here. How did we get here? How did we get to this stage? I really, really enjoyed that. And although the film was long, there was parts I was like, is this necessary? But you know what? Every single part is necessary. Like, I got to the point where I was like, is the film ending? But it didn't end. But then when it wasn't ending, I was like, oh, I see why it didn't end. And there's just so much in there i'm gonna have to watch this film three times but it's definitely a film you need to watch like what happened there and you want to watch the old ones and then watch that one again and dissect it and i definitely know there's more films coming out now because it would be even better to go even more way back but i'm not going to ruin it for you guys go and watch it and when i say this you're going to tell what i mean after you watch it but it will be so much more interesting to go even further back to know what was life like in panem before y'all better go to the cinema and watch it before the spoilers be coming out oh my gosh i've never been to a premiere when they give you good bags let me show you guys what i got where's the front they gave us a little booklet thing like a guide to the hunger games i haven't actually looked in it yet i'm obsessed with her guys uh, i can't wait to talk to you about it when you watch the film what's this so you can listen to the album with this Little thing here, that's really smart promo there, Hunky Games. The tickets that we had, me and Miles had. Oh yeah, and then we got this little brooch. This Hunger Games brooch. It was a really good time. It was a really good time. Sometimes I really think like, who, what's going on here? Who am I that you are mindful of me? Because what? It's, yeah. Honestly, God's favour, God's grace, and just the agencies involved, just so lovely. It was such a lovely couple of days, like having a Hunger Games full day. Really enjoyed it. But yeah. Ah! Good afternoon. I'm having withdrawal symptoms. Uh, it wasn't aggression. Oh. Aggression. Mm -hmm. Early, baby, later, you could show me things. You know what it is whenever I'm busy. When you sit, you blow me kisses, no.